Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am so excited for this video because we are going to be playing with the new Alamar Cosmetics Spanglish Collection. I have the palette here as well as their new Pero Primero Primer and their three new eyeshadow brushes. So I wanted to go ahead and try them all out with y'all today. I did go ahead and just basically do like a full face of Alamar Cosmetics because you know I love Alamar. So I'm like any excuse to use all their products together, I'm all about it. So pretty much all of the color products on my face today are from Alamar Cosmetics. I did want to say welcome back to my channel or hello for the first time if you're new here My name is Amy and I love talking about indie makeup brands LMR Cosmetics definitely included So if that sounds like content you're interested in seeing more of don't forget to hit that subscribe button Now before we jump into the look I wanted to go ahead and do some live swatches with y'all of the Spanglish palette because I have not swatched it yet So let's go ahead and do that. Here's the inside of the Spanglish palette it is such a beautiful color story There's a mixture of like pinks oranges corals purples and all of these shimmers are so textured and beautiful okay so the first shade we have here is called petal like and it is a beautiful coral shimmer i feel like the way it looks swatched on my finger doesn't even do justice to how beautiful it is on the eyes but it is a really really stunning shade i mean Look at that, such a nice coral. And then we have the shade Eres Un Show, which is a really beautiful kind of light, cool tone purple. I absolutely love shades like this. I feel like the texture is not like super, super creamy, but it is very sparkly. And then the next shade we have here is called Tiene Swing. And I don't know why I just said it like that, but this is a really beautiful kind of like red burgundy shade. So there's what that one looks like. I feel like of all the shimmers, this one is the most just like satiny. Still a really beautiful color. And honestly, even though originally when I looked at this color story, I was just like summer, 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 like that's all I saw. I feel like a lot of these tones are gonna be so beautiful for fall looks. Between the burgundy and the burnt orange, I am here for this. So now let's go ahead and swatch Wow right here, which is such a beautiful kind of like mid-tone purple with like a pinky magenta shift to it. This one is a little bit more... Uh, loose. It's not as packed in the pan and it is very, very sparkly. It also has quite a bit of fallout, but it is a really beautiful shade. I mean, look at that. You can kind of see the shift and the sparkle there a little bit more. So there's the four shimmers in the palette. Now jumping to the mattes. First, we have this shade right here, which is called IK Cute, which is a pink. So there's what that one looks like. And then we have Ha Ha Ha, which is just kind of a mid-tone cool brown and this brown is pretty different than all the other browns in the other palettes I did compare them I can show you them side by side in just a moment but we also have Moy Excited which is a burnt orange matte just looks like that really great pigmentation and then lastly we have the shade Ponte Hyper and that is a super super bright pink so there's what the palette looks like. I think all of the names are super cute. Um, I do <laughs> have a huge gratitude for Spanglish as someone who is learning Spanish. It is so, so helpful. So I think the names are adorable and I can even relate to some of them. I think this is just such a cute color story overall. I'm really, really excited about this one and I think it's also going to be really fun to pair with their other palettes. So just to show you some quick comparisons, here is the Reina del Caribe Volume 1. And here's what it looks like next to Spanglish. I feel like nothing here is super similar. Tropico is much more of a red orange than Moy Excited. Those are the only two I'm like, eh, maybe a little bit similar, but not really. And then I also happen to have the Reina del Caribe Volume 2 because I'm borrowing it from a friend right now. So I just wanted to show you what, oh wait, no, wrong palettes. <laughs> So I wanted to show you what those two look like next to each other, and I feel like I get cute and Flamingo look kind of similar, but Flamingo is definitely a little bit of a deeper pink. In between Rumbera and TNA Swing, kind of similar, but Rumbera is a little bit more purpley. I think these two would actually be really fun together. This shade right here called Damas with this palette all about it. All right, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into the look. Okay, off camera, I already went ahead and did my foundation and primer, so let's just go ahead and set my face and do some bronzer with the Alamar Cosmetics Brighten and Bronze Complexion Trio. I have the shade Fair Light, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Rise and Grind. I'm gonna use the Alamar Brightening Brush and just set a little bit of that powder underneath my eyes. For me, 
this shade does not brighten. It's like the same shade as my skin tone, so it just sets. All right, now I'm gonna take the shade Pale Wear with the Alamar Complexion Brush. Just adding some bronze to my skin. I do really like this bronzer palette, but I thought originally was gonna be a little bit more cool toned, but it's definitely very warm. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that around my entire face, basically. And I'm grabbing my bronzer brush from Alamar, which I feel like this is one of the strangest brushes. I just don't understand how it works, but it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Cafe Gone Leche and just apply a little bit of that just to add a bit more bronze, but I'm not gonna take that shade everywhere because it's a little bit darker. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave my base there and let's jump into the eyes. I am so, so excited. We're gonna start off with the Pero Primero Primer, which means but first primer and I'm going to pop that on my eyes. I'm a little bit nervous because I really, really want this to work for me. It says it's a long wear sticky pigment base, but they said it was tinted, so I'm just hoping and praying it's not gonna be too dark for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a little bit of that. Okay, so there is what the color is looking like. Let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop a little bit on. So it is a little bit yellow toned, but it is quite sheer. It's not too much. I mean, I can see it on my eyes. It low-key looks like I have a bruise that's been healing, but it's not too much to where I feel like it's gonna show up underneath my eyeshadow. Ooh, okay. So I don't know if you can see on this eye, you have to blend that in right away because it gets quite sticky and now it's not wanting to blend. I should have done one eye at a time. I'm feeling it and it still feels quite tacky, but it is setting down a little bit. Really, really curious how the shadows are gonna blend on top of that. So now, the part I'm most excited about, I don't know why I just did that. Now jumping into the Spanglish palette, this is just so beautiful in person. These shimmers are giving me literal life. I'm so happy that I purchased this, just looking at this. I'm trying to think up a look really quickly where I will use every single shade. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this matte shade right here, which is called I Kick Cute. And I'm gonna use one of the original Alamar Cosmetics Ojitos Brush Volume 1, I think it was called. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of this is because the writing has completely come off. Okay, that's picking up really well on the brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that through my crease. I feel like I can feel as I place the eyeshadow down, it's skipping a little bit on the primer, but I'm guessing if I just go in and blend for a second further, it should be okay. I feel like that looks a lot more salmon on the eyes, whereas in the palette, it looks like a light baby pink. Definitely has more to it than I originally thought. You just kind of tap that shadow in and then blend. I'm wondering if maybe I should have done a different primer on this side just so I could compare them two instead of doing the primer on both eyes, but it's too late now. We'll just go ahead and blend. I feel like it's taking me a little bit to blend this into the primer, so it's definitely something I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on and just keep playing with and see how I end up feeling. But that color is really, really pretty. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab one of the new brushes. This is the Detailed Diffuser brush and I'm gonna grab this shade right here called Ponte Iper and I'm gonna pop that on my outer V. I'm just really curious, that's a bright pink, my goodness. I feel like these colors are looking on the eyes a little bit different than in the palette, but that's not a bad thing in this case because I feel like it looks so, so pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of build that up and then blend it into the crease a little bit. Or a lot of it, actually. I'm kind of really liking that color. Okay, okay I'm going to go into the previous blending brush and just go over the edge of that. Okay, so I am really curious how much the shade Ha 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 is going to add depth to this look. I'm wondering if it will be enough. I know you could go into the other Reina del Caribe Volume 1 or 2 and add depth with those shades, but I just want to use this palette by itself today. So I'm going to go into the brown, just using that same brush. Oops. Maybe I should have, uh, should have tapped off my brush. It's kind of just blending in. Not adding a ton of depth. Still, I feel like I'm looking at my crease and I just don't super love the blend. I'm gonna go into a little bit more of Ike Cute. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Moy Excited 
and just grab that on their little pigment packer brush. I guess this is supposed to be for your lid, but I feel like you could use it for smudging shadows along the lower lash line pretty well if you use the edge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with that orange basically along my entire lower lash line. It's almost like a burnt orange. It's not as bright. It's All right, now jumping into some shimmers. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to start off with this shade right here, which is called TNA Swing. And that shade makes me laugh so much because there's a song that it's from called Moviendo Las Caderas. And the part of the song is one of those parts where you, or well, I, I'm always humming along and I never realize what they're actually saying. And so when I saw the inspiration for this shade was that, it made me laugh. So I'm just popping that on my lower lash line on like the outer portion, just keeping it nice and close to the lashes. I'm using the, I, there's no name on it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my pigment packer brush and I'm just gonna wipe it off so I can try this with one of the shimmers and try packing colors on the lid with it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here called Wow, just because it is so beautiful. Just gonna pick up a little bit of that and tap off the excess. And I'm gonna pop that on the outer half of my lid. Oh my gosh, that is such a pretty shade. Don't think I super love this brush for this. Definitely getting some fallout. Let me just try my finger. Still getting a little bit of fallout with that even with tapping off my finger tapping off my brush and whatnot so i think next time i use that shade i'll probably use a glitter glue it does have a bunch of sparkles in it but i just wanted to try it on its own for the first time okay now i'm gonna take the light purple next which is called eres un show and i'm gonna pop that on the inner portion of my eyes again i'm just gonna go in and try a brush first just to see that is such a pretty purple. Just gonna go ahead and blend that into wow. I feel like that has really good pigmentation because it's kind of giving me like that faux cut crease moment without having to use glitter glue or concealer or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of that with my finger just to see. Oh wow, that's even more intense. That is so pretty. So much fallout though. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and wipe that off the best I can. I just realized I forgot to use the coolest brush in the set. It's probably just because I don't even really know what to do with this. I've used brushes like this before for my lid, but Gabby, when she's talking about this brush, she mentioned actually using it in your crease. So I'm curious to try that. I'm so sorry I forgot today, but I am gonna go ahead and just take it because it is a clean brush and blend my lower lash line a little bit because I got a little crazy there. Okay, lastly, for the eyes, I went ahead and wiped off that diffuse detail brush, and I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Pero Like, and I'm going to pop that on my inner corner. Gosh, that is a pretty shade. Can't wait to put that all over the lid next. Just blending that in. Okay, off camera really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the Nabla Cupid's Arrow Liner in my waterline, throw on the We Make Up More Mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so for blush, I went ahead and grabbed the Color It Blush Trio in the shade Fair Light, and I feel like this eye look definitely calls for an orangey, shimmery blush moment, so I'm gonna take this one right here called Castaway, just using the complexion brush. Just gonna go ahead and throw that on. Such pretty blush. I love the really soft sheen that it gives as well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the original Reina del Caribe Volume 1, and I'm gonna take this shade right here called La Costa and use that as my highlighter. I feel like I tried to use this as a highlight in the past and didn't like it, but I thought I'd give it another chance today. Also using the brightening brush. I'm just gonna go in and throw that on. Okay, I'm like, why didn't I like this the first time? That's so pretty. <laughs> what the heck, okay. Okay, so lastly for lips, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my birthday suit lip liner and fill in my entire lips. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and top that off with my Mommy Spice Latte lip gloss. All right, so this is the finished look and I love how it turned out. I am so excited about this palette and I'm glad that I had a moment of weakness and went ahead and purchased it because all of the shimmers are so, so beautiful and I wanna put all of them all over my lid. I feel like 
I just love a palette where every single shimmer makes me super happy. This shade right here, Pero Like, I cannot wait to put all over my lid. It is just one of the prettiest shimmers I've seen in a hot minute. And then all of the matte shades, I do feel like they're a little bit darker on the eyes than they look in the palette, and I feel like they are a pretty interesting combination. Overall, I think if you really love that like pinky, purple, corally vibe, this could be a nice color story for you. The quality seems really good. I'm not 100% sold on the primer yet. I felt like blending on top of it was a little bit harder. So I'm going to keep using that, keep trying it out, see if I use less, see if I use a little bit more, and I'll let you know in a future video how I end up feeling. As far as the brushes go, they do seem to be pretty good quality. I really like this diffused little detail brush. I feel like it gets perfectly in the crease. I have a similar one from Morphe and Sigma but this one is a little bit more dense and not quite as wispy so I do like that and I see that being a brush I'll use quite often. So that is everything for today's video trying out the new Alamar Cosmetics Spanglish collection. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!